You hear that? It's quiet. I never heard it in Prime 2, but that's the sound of a power-up. But unfortunately, we can't get it right now. One of these things, these things are neat. State of the art. Through here. Oh, and wasps. I hate wasps. Just in case you didn't get that. Just in case you didn't know. I hate them. Firefly dudes. Look at this all weird and slanted and stuff. It's like they're seismic activity. And in here we have our first boss. Now there is a sequence break you can do to get the double jump early, and then you can double jump over there and get the missile expansion uh, and completely skip the boss. But I'm not doing that. Poison water. Avoid the poison water. Now, this is one thing I, again, need to scan. It's called the Hive Mecha. It... I think it's basically the nest for these special wasps. And these special wasps are another thing I need to scan, actually. And I believe I only have one more left. Uh, these guys spin around in circles and then ram you with their head, I think. Which kind of doesn't make any sense because they're wasps and they have stingers. Anyway, this is a really tedious boss fight. Uh, generally, this is supposed to teach you how to use the radar on your HUD. But I don't use the radar, screw that. Does the radar show you uh, what direction? They're coming from. Also, this fight is extremely tedious on hyper mode. I mean, like most fights, it is, but good lord, it's just terrible. Because the wasps take a ton of hits to kill, and there are a ton of wasps and tons of phases. And that's what happens when you're not quick enough. Again, I would imagine this is a fair bit easier on the GameCube, because of the auto lock-on. There is a way to do actual lock-on and not have the free aiming um, on this version, but overall it hurts more than it helps. So I'm kind of sucking here. There we go. And that is the end of that. Extremely tedious. Also, I'm not very good at it, so I did manage to get low on health, as you can hear there. But nonetheless, we got the missile launcher. It launches missiles. Shoot it, and bam. And ta-da, an energy tank, to get rid of that annoying sound. And you see through here, there's a missile, not a missile, uh, morph ball tunnel. But we don't have the morph ball. All this stuff, I think, venom weed or tangle weed? Venom weed's the poison stuff. Shoot it to make it go down. Now that we have the missiles, we can go open that missile door that we saw a few minutes ago. First that, we have to backtrack. Oh my god, backtracking in Metroid. It happens. Am I actually getting hurt by these things, really? Plasmites. Oh, oh, hear that, hear that. Brinstone. That means use missiles. Do that, and hello, we got more missiles. 
done a hundred percent run of this game before. It's tedious and not, especially not worth doing for uh, video purposes. And let's see, this is another save point. Oh, this is a map station. Yay. Hopefully we won't need it. See, there's that room over there. Maybe worth checking out if we can. Ooh, and yeah, see. There's another upgrade around through that tunnel somehow. But, again, we need the Morph Ball and the Morph Ball Bombs. Hey, give me energy. Alright, 20 energy, that'll work. Now you can see here, again, Morph Ball shenanigans. Go through here. This is another save point. Not gonna use it. Actually, you can use it for uh, energy refill, I believe, which may be worthwhile. There we go. I don't want to save in mid-recording just in case cause something goes horribly wrong. Yeah, these things I believe you can shoot with a missile. Doesn't completely destroy them. There is a way to completely destroy them, but we don't have access to them right now. And it's generally worth it to just shoot them and be on your way. Back in here. Hello, Beetle. Avoid all you guys. Look at all those upgrades. Power-ups. I don't really like the term power-up because it implies that you get powered up from them. And here we have another boss fight for the Morph Ball over there. And again, if you have the double jump uh, early, you can just double jump over that barrier that they put up for you and then avoid this completely. Uh, but it won't stop playing the boss music is the funny part. So you'll be running around and get very, very sick of the mu the music. Anyway, there is an actual boss coming once we get rid of these guys. And yeah, I could use my missiles, but uh, just. I want to save him for the actual boss. Actually, screw that. Yeah, look at that. Taking three out in once. But only have five missiles, so... Kinda gotta be conservative. And here we go. The main attraction. I forget what it's called. Like a Mega Beetle or something. I'll check. Eh. That's not what I wanted to scan. Plated beetle. Basically, let it charge, shoot a missile. The exact same tactic is used against the second to final boss. Goes to show the creativity. Can't wait till I get the charge beam so I can not have to walk into everything. Ta-da! 